Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial we're going to talk about the for loop. How to use the for loop in Roblox. To get started we're going to go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. We're going to start with saying for and then we're going to specify our counter. So for my counter I'm just going to call it i. I'll set it equals to 1 comma 10 do and inside my do loop, I can tell it to do whatever I want. In this case, I'm just going to print out the value of i equals 2. And I'll concatenate that with the value of i. So basically, my for loop is going to loop through. And each time it goes through, it's going to increment i by 1 for me, which is the default. Let's play and take a look. And here it is. So I started out with i equals to 1 and my loop just increment i for me each time by 1, it goes to 10. On the other hand, there is one more parameter here that you can specify. So you can tell the system to how much to increment by each time it goes through. So in this case, I'm going to say increment i by 2 each time. Let's take a look. Here you see i is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So it's going up by 2 each time. And again, you don't, you don't have to start with 1. You can start with 5, let's say. Let's take a look. Here i starts with 5 and goes 5, 7, 9. So that's basically how you use the for loop in Roblox. And later on, if you learn about arrays, you can have something like, for example, local array a equals to an array and then you can use the for loop you can use for in pairs so you can say for i comma entry in pairs and then you specify the name of the array in this case is a and then you put do here and it will automatically iterate through every element of your array for you. This array is empty, so there's nothing in there. But if your array has elements in there, it's going to iterate through automatically for you. In case you are interested to learn more about arrays and dictionary, you can go to our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox, and just click on the search here and search for array. Hit enter. And I would start with this one, lesson number 63, all about arrays. And then there are other things about arrays that you can look at. Um, th there's a couple of other videos on arrays here if you're interested to check them out. And the other one is um, to learn about dictionary. So if you put in dictionary here and search for dictionary, I would look at the first one here. It, it's all about dictionary tables. And again, there are other things related to dictionary that you want to look at. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.